Red Alert Lures is based out of... Okay, folks, today we're going to do an unboxing of another veteran-owned lure company. And today we're going to be doing Red Alert Lures. Okay, so <clears throat> Red Alert Lures is a company that is veteran owned um, and the owner of the company is a veteran by the name of Keith Broussel and the company is out of Louisiana and um, you know they specialize in lures um, they specialize in um, everything from soft plastic lures to to kayaks and um you know the um lures some of the lures that i got um i got a lot of the ones that fall under the category of um wired uh, lures and um you know the uh they have a lot of different custom uh colors and different uh types of lures and so I'm going to just show you a few of the ones that I got. And um, afterwards, I'm going to take it out, take them out on the water and see um, how they, their um, action is in the water. Um, because we've been having in Georgia, we've been having a lot of crazy weather, cold fronts and even tornadoes. And um, it just hasn't really seem like um in the places that i've been that the um you know the fish have been on and um you know certain places you know they <clears throat> they seem like they they may have been uh moving up toward the bed but um you know with the weather being as you know unstable and crazy as it's been um it seems to be having them doing some crazy things so um, I doubt that I'll be able to, uh, in this video, have any footage uh, of me, um, you know, catching anything. But I plan on using these throughout the season and hopefully getting some good footage. Um, of course, my GoPro went down on me and I had to um, send it back to, uh, to GoPro. And good thing it was under, under warranty. Um, so they replaced, they, they are replacing it. So, um, but anyway, here we go. Red Alert Lures. Uh, the first uh, bait that I want to show you guys <clears throat> is the uh, Red Alert Inline Spinner. And the uh, Red at Red Alert Red Alert Lures um, is handcrafted, and you know <clears throat> uh, Keith. Um, builds these lures by hand himself and you know the material that he's using here for the wire is a flexible is a flexible du but durable wire and um, of course you have the beads and the um, the blade right here um, and for added flash and uh, also uh, for a little bit of uh, noise with these beads but um, the soft plastics that he he you know he hand pours and the colors the color custom colors that he uses he has some pretty good ones uh, he likes to put his um, a lot of times he'll put his um when you get them shipped out to you he'll have the uh, soft plastic like the paddle tail He'll have them flipped. I'll show you. Um, the paddle, the boot won't be pointing down like a lot of people do. But he'll have his, um, the boot pointing up. And he likes the, um, the action that he gets when he um, he uses the uh, uses it, rig that way. Now here's another inline spinner. Uh, this one's a little larger. And the, uh, the color on this one is called uh, gator puke 
and these are some more of his hand poured plastics um, very nice soft plastic um, and the color pattern is very um, very good I've heard some good things about this um, this particular color pattern and of course the Louisiana triple threat and uh, it's a three drop style lure that he designed uh, that has a unique feature where it collapses or folds to where it's easy to be easily stored uh, when you're ready to fish it you push it together and just push pop it bam and then there it is okay so let me see. But um, so basically, you have a three drop lure, and um, so you, like I said, the <clears throat> unique feature about these is that when you squeeze this together, you can just push it, push it down. And you can collapse it and you know there it is it's easily easily um, stored or I can just put it back in the bag and it'll just hold down on itself and so it's easily stored so you don't have to uh, worry about it taking up so much space um, you know because that's one of the issues with um, some of the things like the um, Say, for instance, the uh, the Yum tripod. I'm going to get one and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here are some of the Yum. Let me see. Yeah. Now, with the Yum... Tripod. I got one made up in here somewhere. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Now with the Yum tripod, you know they come when they when you get them. You know they uh, come with the rubber band and it's you know ten the tension is already on it. So it's kind of easy, easier to um, to store, but um, you know, with this one I've, I put some uh, put some different uh, baits on it. But anyway, um, you know, as opposed to this one where it's already um, you know you can collapse it uh, by easily just pushing it together. This one right here, uh, it, you know, you have to actually. Uh, bend it together and you know have something to keep the tension on it um, or else it's going to want to you know flex back out and uh, so you know I mean this is not that bad um, you know it's still somewhat compact um, but I do like the design of this one where it has the collapsible um, you know tripod salt shaker this bait somewhat reminds me of the concept of a chatter bait and uh, so it's very it's similar and um, you know of course again we have the um, the gator puke um, soft bait soft plastic on here uh, the jig head and um, and you can see right here the uh, you know it's, it's kind of similar 
uh, with the, uh, the concept of, of what um, you might think of as a uh, chatterbait. Um, um, <clears throat> right here, this the salt shaker. It'll more than <clears throat> excuse me. It'll more than likely put off some good um, vibration, um, a little flash, and also you've got the the swim portion back here that's um, going to also um, draw some bites. That's the salt shaker. Red alert salt shaker. Last but not least are the buzz baits. Red alert buzz baits. These are the sunrise buzz baits. And um, these, um, this one actually has the the swim the swim bait on this one and this one is a frog it's a sunrise buzz bait he has these in clear the clear um, um, spinner and um, or propeller and he has them in red and so this is the um, the frog buzz bait and so there you have it I'm going to actually take these out and you know see what the action is like on these and um, you know hopefully I'll do a uh, I'll do a, a follow-up video um, about red alert lures especially when we can when Georgia can get its act together with its weather and we have, you know, uh, some consecutive days of nice weather so that the fish will know what they're supposed to do. But uh, like I said, this is uh, Red Alert Lures. Veteran owned uh, continue to uh, support all of our veterans.